Liverpool's title challenge unraveled after Salah bombshell and Palace thumping. Although Liverpool's fortunes have improved recently, when it comes to playing Crystal Palace, Selhurst Park is still far from a happy hunting ground for the Reds. In fact, if there are any Reds fans who are superstitious, maybe it's best to look away now. Liverpool's bid to retain their Premier League crown ended up falling apart following their trip to South London last year, despite the fact they absolutely thumped Palace 7-0. Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino both bagged braces while Takumi Minamino, Sadio O'Main and Jordan Henderson all got in on the act on a sobering afternoon for Palace. While it was despair for the hosts, the Reds basked in the glory of one of the most remarkable afternoons in recent Premier League history but their elation was short-lived. Join the debate. Do you think Liverpool should break the bank to keep Salah? Let us know here. Their demolition job in the capital may have handed them a five-point cushion at the summit of the Premier League, but their season completely unraveled after that fateful afternoon against Palace, so much so that they acquired a last gasp goal from Alisson during the run-in to clinch a third-placed finish. But it was at Crystal Palace, a ground that has been a very unhappy stomping ground for the Reds in recent years, that the decline began in earnest. On the eve of the match, Salah appeared to set the wheels in motion for a move away from Anfield by revealing a long-held desire to play in Spain with As. Given both Barcelona and Real Madrid were circling at the time, Salah's comments and the timing of his interview wasn't insignificant. That uncertainty, coupled with a horrific injury crisis, played a significant role in the Reds' collapse over the second half of the season as Manchester City stormed to another title under Pep Guardiola. Liverpool managed just three league wins during the 14 games that followed the Palace match, a truly staggering run of form that killed any hopes they had of making it back-to-back -back title wins. While their botched title defence stung, it was the uncertainty surrounding Salah that wavered beyond May. Fast forward 12 months and, in theory, it's not out of the question that they could be haunted by Salah and his future once again after their trip to South London this weekend. The Egyptian superstar and the Liverpool hierarchy are currently locked in a contract standoff with neither side seemingly willing to budge from their demands. But surely, something has to give. In reality, it's hard to see how Liverpool could even fathom replacing Salah given his outrageous form this year. And by the time they identify and sign a replacement, it's not unimaginable that they'll have shelled out a similar amount to whatever it would currently cost them to tie Salah down to a bumper new multi-year deal. Although it's an eerily similar situation to the one that hung around Liverpool's necks like the proverbial millstone last year, things feel slightly different now. Rather than subtlety angling for a move abroad, Salah has instead been making positive noises about wishing to extend his stay on Merseyside again. In fact, Salah has pretty much laid his cards on the table and confirmed he'll stay at Anfield if the Liverpool hierarchy meet his demands. It's Salah whose quotes have been in the news again, but this time, the ball is very much in Liverpool's court when it comes to his long-term future given he has just 18 months remaining on his current deal. On the title front, it's hard to imagine the Reds repeating their meek surrender in the second half of the season given that they pretty much have a clean bill of health and both Salah and Main due to return in the coming fortnight. Given the relentless winning machine that Manchester City have evolved into over recent weeks, it already feels as though the title may be lost for another year given that, even if the Reds win their game in hand, they'll be eight points behind Guardiola's side. Even at this stage of the season, it's tough to see City blowing that lead. It feels almost inevitable that they'll be crowned champions once again.